Welcome back to Tech Air Cities. Brandy's coming back to you guys today, unfortunately, with another unboxing and quick review of the 990 FXA GD65 motherboard from this is an AIM3 Plus motherboard from MSI. Now, you guys are probably wondering, didn't you have the Azus motherboard? And it's funny, yeah, I had the Azus motherboard and it was dead on arrival. So <laughs> I was just here, I am making a video about Azus quality and I get a motherboard that was dead on arrival. Anyway, um, I got the motherboard, I connected everything to it, reseated the CPU, re uh, tried a different power supply, everything I could think of, and it was just, it just wouldn't boot up, like it'd boot up and then this, it would just be a black screen, so I took it back to them and it was at that stage that they admitted, they were like, oh, someone else returned this motherboard, and I was like, what the hell, why the hell didn't you tell me that? So basically they sold an open box product as a brand new product, and I was Man, I was livid anyway, so there was lots of cursing going on. But anyway, they ended up giving me this for a little bit cheaper than retail because they were sorry. And yeah, it's up and running. I'm recording on it now. So uh, anyway, the problem's fixed. Everything's ready to go. I'm at 4.4 gigs on this baby. It's all running smoothly. The Intel benchmarks are all compiled. Everything's done. Now the AMD benchmarks are commencing. So expect the results in the next few days. And also, yeah, let's get on with the quick unboxing and review of this baby. I'll show you guys what's in the box and also I'll talk about the motherboard as well a little bit so let's move on I think it feels a little bit heavier in the box so that's a good thing uh, that's probably because it comes with one of these an external a PCI uh, sort of or a PCI slot at the back it doesn't actually take up the PCI slot but it just takes up a rear slot in your case and you can use it as a USB too so I like that feature that's pretty cool you get the back plate here which feels pretty you know it's just a standard back plate the Asus one did feel a little bit better but not too I don't really care too much about a back plate um, this one here this is interesting it comes with these pins a lot of them this is a really good feature I like these pins as I said in the Asus motherboard unboxing I like these pins as they can take a lot of hassle out of installing the little pins sometimes so that's a good thing it comes with the manual uh, as you guys know we don't really care about the manual too much. And we've got some SATA 3 cables here and you get the driver disks as well. So this is the MSI G and you get a HDD backup guide and a looks like an installation guide there, quick installation guide, warranty card as well, and two more SATA 3 cables. So you get four SATA 3 cables with this motherboard. Now let's get on to the juicy part here. This is the actual motherboard itself. Now, uh, this motherboard, I think it's got similar features to the ASUS uh, motherboard in that it is basically a 990FX chipset with the 950 Southbridge, I believe. So we'll unbox this little puppy here, get the box closed, and we'll put it on top of the box. So we'll get this done here. And basically, this is a uh, MSI's version. So this is their sort of value for money uh, overclocking board on the 990FX line. So... It, and honestly, it looks really nice. I actually really like the look of the motherboard itself. It doesn't, um, I think the PCB doesn't doesn't feel as solid as the ASUS counterpart, but it definitely, you know, for me, if it does the job, if it, if it basically runs the FX8320 at 4.4 gigs, then I'm home and hosed because that's all I want it to do. Uh, it's got heat sinks here. These actually, these heat sinks, even though they look pretty plain, they actually feel really solid. I like these heat sinks. They actually look, they look a little bit small, but they look a little bit plain. But I actually really like the look of them, and they feel really good. It uh, looks like we've got a... We've definitely got... I think it's like an 8 plus 2... Pay, uh, so yeah, 8 plus 2 phase power design on this motherboard. So you've got 8 phases for the CPU, 2 phases for the RAM. And I think that's twice as much as their 970 uh, G43, which isn't really an overclocking board. But this one is an overclocking board uh, to a certain degree. I don't think it's going to get the extreme overclocks, but... It will be a good overclocker. Now let's look at the features of this board. We've got four RAM slots here, uh, two dual channel memory uh, slots there, so you can have up to 32 gigabytes of memory in this motherboard. We have here uh, three SATA 6 ports, which is really good. They don't put on any as media or anything like that. They're just straight up normal SATA, uh, normal, six normal SATA 3 ports. That's all I need. I like how MSI have cut out the crap. I like that. The motherboard itself, though, you'll notice there is a brown tinge to this motherboard. It does have a brown tinge to it. That is, instead of it being a pure black, in this in this light, I can definitely see what people are talking about. It does look more brown than black. So that is something about this motherboard. Now, honestly, we do have, looks like we've got one, two, three, 
four, five chassis fan connectors on the motherboard itself, so you can have up to five fans uh, running and monitoring off this motherboard as well. Uh, looking here, we've got one, two, three, four, four PCI one-speed express slots, and we've got two PCI 16-speed uh, slots here, which can, and you've also got a PCI, a standard PCI slot, so non-express down the bottom. That's pretty cool as well for those people who want to use their old PCI gear. And also, we've got USB uh, USB 2 connectivity ports, got a HD, uh, HD audio out here. We don't have a USB 3, I believe, so there's no USB 3 front panel support on this motherboard. However, that's fine. We do, uh, by the looks of it, we do have a PCI Express uh, on the motherboard. So that's a power connection on the motherboard there. That's actually pretty cool for a mid-range board. I like that uh, MSI have included that there. So you can, I guess you can give... Uh, feed some extra power to the motherboard, uh, more to more so to the graphics card, I believe. So that's really cool there. Uh, onboard audio, I think we've got the Realtek 892 on board, and we've also got the Realtek um, 8111E for the to the NIC. Uh, we'll get onto that a bit later, but let's look at here. This is the features here. This has got the two PCI one speeds above the PCI Express 16 speed. So this is PCI two. Uh, however, some people don't like it here personally. I love having the PCI one speeds above the graphics card because um, I sort of, for me, the graphics card's blowing air from the bottom. So if you've got stuff under it, it's going to get in the way. Also, when you want to SLI your cards and they're usually dual slot coolers nowadays, you generally can't fit anything in between. So for me, I usually put my PCI Express uh, NIC in between my heatsink fan and my graphics card and it actually works out pretty well. I like it there. Plus, you can't really see it as well. They're usually like a green PCB and they're ugly. So for me personally, I like these two. I like the fact that it's got two there. So you can put a, an NIC and a sound card in there if you want to. So that's a pretty good feature. Now, let's look at the actual components on the board. Uh, this board itself, it actually, I mean, MSI this time around have done a actually pretty good job. And I mean, I liked the G45. I got that in the background there. But um, it's, yeah, I like the G45, but also like my, uh, MSI's motherboards lately. I like, the, I like what they've been doing with the motherboards themselves. We'll move around to the front here, and we can see here that we've got the audio uh, out here. I think it's 5.1, so it supports 5.1 surround sound. We've also got a coax audio out as well. And we've also got a clear CMOS button at the back too. It's a really good feature there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight USB 2 slots on the rear, and we've got two USB 3 on the rear as well. Uh, we've got the one NIC there, which is the Realtek, I believe, and you also got a PS2 slot as well, as well as a coax audio out. So that's just, just that's usually standard on a mid-range board. Nothing really shines out there except the clear CMOS button. I love that, as I will be overclocking this board. So that is a benefit of this motherboard over the ASUS motherboard. So kudos to MSI for including that. Uh, let's turn around now to the rear of the motherboard and just show you guys what you get. So now the rear of the motherboard is pretty much just standard, just your brown, so that you can really see that brown PCB look there. The actual motherboard itself does feel... Uh, not as good as the Zeus. I mean, I will admit it doesn't feel as good as the Zeus, but it's got everything I need, and it looks really plain and simple, and it's at a good price-performance ratio, I think, considering the Zeus one that I got was on sale, and this one's just actually retail at $135. So I'm going to get this going, and pretty much I am going to uh, be testing this against the Intel finally. Hopefully this motherboard works, and it starts up. The Zeus, I just... Yeah, it really, I just, it, I started up, didn't work. I just like, look, I do not have time for this, literally. So um, I tried a few different things, tried unplugging everything, just the, but just the graphics card, CPU, and tried a different power supply, didn't work. Try reseating the CPU, reseating the RAM, did not work. So I just said, no, nah, this one, I'm going to change the motherboard and give the MSI one a go. So anyway, i got two MSI motherboards around here. I guess it's better if I do a comparison with two MSI motherboards as well for consistency purposes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, sort of, I guess, this unboxing and spec detail. And more, not really a review, but uh, more of an unboxing and uh, spec detail of the MSI uh, 990FXA GD65. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this motherboard, Please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already subscribed to Tech City, I'll be getting these reviews done and I'll be getting these tests done really shortly. Anyway guys, peace out for now. Brand easy. Bye.